And Joy sure does know how to tell a story. I know, and she always gets the fun assignments. And look at the weather. The oh. weather was Weather is Amazing. beautiful, yeah. right? And then next 24 hours, things are changing. Oh, as they always Don't do. Tell us. <laughs> Let me guess: a little bit of rain. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I we actually could tees. see a very slight chance for some showers right now. Hard to believe after a very warm and dry weekend. But take a look. It is beautiful. People are still out for the Long Beach Grand Prix. And we are dealing with some high clouds overhead. So we're going to continue to see more of the high clouds really pushing in as we head into the overnight hours. And we could even see that marine influence returning for our beach community. So this is a live look with our Santa Monica camera. In Long Beach currently, we have 74 degrees. So it's still very comfortable, but we have the breezes pushing in, coming in from the west northwest at about 10 miles per hour. Temperatures are toasty at the moment in Ontario. Low 80s. We have upper 70s for San Bernardino, mid 70s for Corona and Fullerton, 77 for Van Nuys, 65 for Camarillo, and it's starting to get a little cooler in Oxnard in the upper 50s. Temperature wise, we were still above average today for a lot of places, but we hit exactly where we should be for downtown LA, coming in at 73 degrees. But overall, a little cooler today compared to to yesterday. Yesterday, we were well above average. As we head into the overnight hours, we're going to continue to see the winds increasing. And so we have a wind advisory that goes into effect for the Mojave Desert and the Victor Valley area as we head into uh, the overnight hours, into tomorrow, that is. So we're already starting to see those gusts picking up, double digits for Lancaster and Apple Valley. We're seeing some breezes through Riverside, breezes through Santa Clarita, and then we have the breezes right along the coast. So the cooling trend actually begins now as we speak because that high pressure system that brought us a warm dry air it's slowly pushing off to the southeast and we're allowing a low pressure system to drop in so the marine influence as i mentioned will be returning which we haven't seen in a while and then there is a very slight chance that we could see some light scattered showers as we head into late monday and into tuesday this will be this won't be a big system. We're actually going to see it's what we call an inside slider. So it's going to be sliding inland and then it could bring us a little bit more of the showery activity over areas like the Inland Empire and then also Orange County and then also over some of the mountain tops. And if we do see any moisture at all, it's probably about a tenth of an inch or less. So here's a look at what's happening. There's that low pressure system and you can see that it's starting to dip down over here to the Nevada area. So as it continues to get closer to the Southland, it's going to slide inland. So a little bit more inland for the high deserts and all of those areas. That is why it's called inside slider. It's not coming off of the coast. And so with the future cast, we're going to start to see the clouds fill in as we head into the overnight hours. We'll wake up to some gray skies, especially for a lot of our coastal communities and take a look at what happens by tomorrow night. We're going to start to see some rain pushing through the I-5 corridor and then by Tuesday morning we're going to start to see some very light scattered showers moving in. So again, not a big system, about a tenth of an inch or less, maybe a little bit more up in the mountains, about a quarter inch to half an inch depending on where you live. But we're dealing with much cooler and breezier conditions from Monday and Tuesday. But once the system lifts out by the middle of the week, high pressure building in. So by the second half of the week, we're looking at much warmer conditions. Temperatures will be warming up to the 70s and 80s once we head into Wednesday. Back to you guys. Amber, thank you. Come